All right, welcome back to Campaign 18. Yeah, we're going to do at least one more episode here as the uh, CSA. We did, I think the first three were Union, and they went well, like, too well. Uh, I think I think actually at the end of my third episode, we invested Nashville, or we, we, we got darn close. Anyways, we did that, and then we got Grant's core over here. Oh, is this a mistake? Is that a mistake? Uh, let's move them up and get ready to take them out of scouting. That gives us three divisions right here. Anyways, yeah, it's very interesting. Okay, it's not that interesting, but yeah, those, those units fought themselves out. The most desperate fight in the campaign well, this is probably tied with uh, Middle Tennessee right now. Uh, and I just don't think either Scurry or Smith are ever going to get the readiness to take on Harney, who's got a chunky division. Now, between the two of them, 56. Yeah, between the two of them, there's two or three regiment advantage, I think, or at least the equivalent of, of troops. Crawford, Beauregard, I would love them both to, to get in on, on the action, but I don't think so. One thing I think I did off camera after the end of the last episode, yeah, as I went down here, I created Westcott's division, which is pretty much not a, it's not like new troops. It's just a lot of troops from other divisions, usually that usually divisions that were too large. They had one too many brigades or something like that. And so uh, they all got kind of globbed up here and it's not perfect. We're still missing uh, actually, we're missing artillery and infantry. You know what? Do we even have the infantry for this? We do. And so... Oh, that's right. We can't recruit because we are at triple C credit rating. That's right. That is what I tried to do. And then they're like, <laughs> nope. Uh, so, yeah, I didn't do that part well. I wonder how bad it is for the Union now that I've... Uh, yeah, they're, they're equally as bad right now. So. Probably not doing that much recruiting. We've kind of mutually exhausted each other in that respect. But the idea was to get Westcott's division. And that, that will be the kind of reserve that maybe allows us to knock this creep out. And if Crittenden really is out of supply, possibly out of readiness over here, we might be able to smash four divisions against two. I'm not sure about that. It is, uh, I think November 1st is like the technical end of the campaign season, but that really doesn't mean much as I've learned from, uh, I think I mentioned in the last episode or somewhere somewhere else in this campaign that I've been reading the, uh, I'm almost done with uh, Earl Hess's book there on uh, Longstreet and Burnside in East Tennessee of all places. And it's really about the, the siege of Knoxville. Uh, huh. From this map, it looks it looks very different. It seemed more open on on his maps. Like the, the, this stuff is not as apparent. The, the Cumberland Gap looks like it's a mile away, and I I think I did say this for sure in the last episode. I always forget how close Virginia ends up being to the Cumberland Gap. Right? It looks like it's right there, and then Tennessee and Kentucky. Any anyways, <laughs> that had absolutely nothing to do with anything ever, but. Just my, my latest yammering. All right. Uh, this is probably a, a rough idea, but we're going to try to send the New Orleans squadron over there to lift the blockade. John B. Clark. Good. I'm glad John B. Clark has been rehabilitated because he usually does well in most of my CSA campaigns. And he's not the easiest to fight against. So I... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Of course, Grant did the one thing I didn't think he would do. Oh, no. This is Gibbon. Look at that. Look at that beautiful flag there. All right. I guess they were, were graced with it. Uh, all right. So Smith is here. Right. It's this Smith. And yeah, I actually don't like staying like this as the CSA. It feels like. So their average is what? 85. And our CSA is 91? 
maybe that's that's a right advantage. I don't know. Yeah, so they've gone to winter quarters. And that's just a lot of a lot of divisions, right? All this up here, over here. This whole area, I think once you leave Salem and you start going up here, it is just a supply desert. Yeah, there's a supply depot, but whatever. The other idea I have, and it is really not a great idea. But the idea is to go to Grafton, take it, burn the supply depot, and then try to come down here. I think if Longstreet was maybe... I mean, he's pretty close. He's pretty close. And it's only going to get colder. I have my doubts about this, but let's do it. We'll send him. We'll send Corps Commander too. Just cause. Oh, and I guess Johnston got it in this force. And then this Johnston, I'll probably leave him there. I'd rather just draw him back, maybe down to Newmarket and let him rest there. whatever that's right i had these doing their blockading thing earlier and i think they're got or they were about to get their uh, uh so they didn't get on the rail line there come up and around and over and all that other stuff Okay, Forest is here. Harper's about to be able to scout. Fry is too. Westcott will be. There is, it, it's conceivable. And maybe we just, you see if, if Price had more readiness, I would be much more comfortable with just marching him out and probably bringing him somewhere somehow over to Memphis and then putting him on the rails and then strike Nashville from the west it's kind of what I'm leaning toward but we have troops that are you know near rail lines Historically accurate. Uh, but yeah, we, we want to get rid of, because, you know, this is, I think putting a support drain on Virginia. Virginia is big. And so we want to try to keep as much of that support as possible. Wow, is Longstreet really marching rather than riding? Ugh, I think he is. That's ugly. Oh, well. What do we have? Do we have any projects that are going to relieve us? No. Civil order, probably. As much as we need troops, we don't have the money to pay for them anyway, so we might as well invest in having our support reduced by less in the future. Hmm... Yeah. I think that's probably the way. I don't know. How much is this? Two and a half million. Nah. I'd rather save it up for civil order. Or recruitment offices when we get the money that we can actually do something with it. All right, but I think Longstreet's actually about to show up in Grafton. But man, he's low on. All right, he's on the train, so that should definitely help not burn up his readiness. Sometimes capturing supply depots are just weird. Like, you could be this close and then just not capture it. Alright, so we captured the supply depot first. Before we got Grafton. Hmm.
But potentially, with Crawford, Beauregard, and Johnston back online, in addition to three divisions down here, we could throw three divisions against their... or six of ours against three of theirs. Uh, I, I like the idea. Hmm. It's a slow capture, but... I guess it has to do with the number of troops, right? If he had more, he'd have... Well, he'd have more, yeah. Farai. Okay. I don't think it matters, but I'm going to put forest and skirmishing anyway, or uh, scouting. All right, we're, we're, we're thinking about it. Diplomacy one, so that was for us. Hmm. Egg two, maybe? For this playthrough? Letters of Mark, possibly. I'm going to go with Egg 2 uh, for this one. Yeah, we'll keep tariffs low and see if uh, the rumors are true. That by keeping them low, things will eventually... We'll, we'll benefit from the uh, lower import prices. Uh, yeah, I, no way that's going to work. No. Jeez. That's got 15 ships? Do we know what kind of ships these are? Is this more bad intelligence? I have a feeling it isn't, but... Whatever. Cotton-clad rams are, are cheap. Oh, so they took a bunch of... Oh! Alright, so... You know, they, they do have a bunch of wooden ships. Like, that part is good for us. But they've also backed it up with three ironclad gunboats. Which I feel like these cotton-clad rams are going to do nothing against. And those frigates still pack an absolute punch. So, it looks like this squadron is going to the bottom. We already have the next one in the recruitment queue. But I would doubt we can recruit more than that. Given our credit rating challenge. It does seem like the credit rating is a bigger challenge in this playthrough at this point than it has been in others. I'm, I, you know, and it, it might have been me. I might have upped the, uh, basically the cost of maintaining your armies. I think the vanilla def Fault, yeah. I think it's 0.5. You you only really pay half of what the game thinks it costs to keep those forces in the field, and I might have upped it to like 0.55 or something. All right, so Crawford now should join. Crawford and Barbergard should both get that readiness back pretty quickly. Uh, all right. Well, the fleet didn't. Well, you know what? It looks like most of the ships got out. Right? Six out of eight got back. So that's better than what I thought was going to happen. Uh, return to port. All ships in fleet disabled. Okay. Oh, you're in port. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, I believe that. Jeez, that is rough. How how bad is it for them? We're 176, they're about 600, so it's almost 4 to 1. Unemployment's percentage point higher there. Wealth, slightly higher per person of the south. 
Ooh, of course the AIs over there just jacking up the debt. Interest rates are comparably high. That is, huh? All right, but it's one hundred and forty thousand against a hundred thousand, so. You know, once they get that readiness back, they should should be able to push right on down. Hmm. How are you? All right, Johnson's almost ready to start scouting. Longstreet is in supply. As is Scurry and Smith. So as long as the Union doesn't launch a winter offensive, there's a chance that we could maybe get moving late December, January, and knock Harney out of here. Maybe. It's going to come at the cost that there's whatever divisions we do with that. They're probably going to be unusable for the rest of the winter, but, you know, of all the prices to pay, I guess that one's fine. Just looking for perks here that we haven't moved up. Hmm. Not that we have the credit to do it, but. All right, so there's only 5,000 and like half of that's just West Virginia. I don't know where the numbers are coming. I guess they're probably going to refill the ranks of those who have already been depleted by the fighting in the summer and the fall here. That would be my guess. New Orleans squad in what condition? You're just in bad condition. That's it. All right, so we're going to add one, two, three. What are the three worst? They're all pretty bad. Okay, that's pretty bad. And we'll keep the other ones there just in case we get attacked. We'll have, uh, yeah, we'll have a couple more. Oh, readiness is hard to come by early on. Maybe I should have given these skilled cartographers just to work on the readiness now. Okay, so the union did the terror effect, so that's a better one for them. Scurry can now turbo build readiness. All right. Johnston can do the same. How far are we from the next, uh, what is it, farm mech? Yeah, that one's just... Output and available volunteers. That's very nice. What is the union morale here? It's high. Not as high as it is for us, but. All right. Support and morale have climbed. The average, I guess, is still back to 91. That's what it should be. Similar story for the union. All things being equal i think that's good for the csa um it just it runs the clock out right with higher support and morale if they were both dropping it would be bad for both but it's probably worse for them um we could do king cotton three we could do impressment that's just a big i mean 
It helps financially. It gives more crits. Both of those are problems with it, but it just saps a lot of support early on. When we could pro we could do military three for more subsidies. We could look at finance two. You know what? We're gonna go with diplomacy two. And then we're probably gonna go with letters of mark as well. And just continue. It's not meant to be a suboptimal playthrough for the CSA. It's just we're, we're testing out whether this uh, rumored economic build actually works. And uh, I'll probably only do it about half of what it should be done. But we still got to try. I think we're a long ways off, though, from yeah, send envoys. Not so interested in civ order. It looks like it's time to pull the trigger on. Again, that's an investment in the long term in having your support erode less quickly and support as i've said it many times many campaigns it's it's the lifeblood of of what makes pretty much your your war machine go uh from taxes from movement speed recruits a lot of the things that matter uh it directly ties to national morale which really is the win con so yeah and I've also said that I, I'd just be in favor of combining those two. So you got expert scouts. Yeah. Ah, oh, it's tough. Flying column is just so good, but skilled and skilled. Well, they already have intelligence gathering, so yeah. The cartographers also does movement speed, but so does flying column. Um. Uh, I'll, I'll do cartographers. I mean, we're, we're supposed to be fighting on our home territory as a CSA, and when I play against the CSA, that hopefully is it. So if they're, they're too good at going forward, it's a problem. Uh, but speed is also really good, but you get that with cartographers as well as... Yeah, so like with this... I would be okay with taking flying column second because then you got two speed modifiers. You got the speed from Quartar. And if you're playing with smaller numbers, you, you sometimes got to be quick, right? Because you got to beat them. You got to try to concentrate while they're dispersed and all the rest of that, that stuff. So I'll, I'll do flying column first with Crawford. Again, not, not really intending to ever have him attack, but that's the idea. All right, Longstreet looks like he's about as ready as he's going to ever be. So, yeah. Okay, so what we do, we're going to force the march because it's already going to be bad. We're leaving with supplies. Hopefully we get there with supplies. We're going to do that, and we're going to burn this behind us. Since the most likely people to get it right now are not us, We will, uh, I mean, it, it, I mean, you make the argument it might supply us a little bit further. Like, the, the actual optimal play would be get, to get out of its distance and then burn it down, but whatever. We're, we're just going to do it that way. All right, Scurry. We're going to wait for, for Longstreet to move a bit further. So Scurry has also come back around. That's very nice. Kirby Smith's about to, well, I'm not going to put him in scouting. Mm, we'll, we'll see how long it takes Longstreet. It's December 21st, but... I think with Scurry, we're just going to move him here. Hopefully it doesn't engage Harney. And then... So Longstreet's not really burn. Oh, well. I was going to say he's not really burning through his readiness, but... Kind of is. And over here, I'm thinking the same thing. In terms of, let's do something here. It looks like we could get all those divisions, all of, at least five divisions, in against the, the three there. That sounds pretty good to me. You 
guys not moving at double quick? Yeah, you should be moving double quick. Probably not relevant, but let's do it anyways. All right, because this is a big one. This is, ooh, and we're almost all ready here. Yeah. All right, you might have a lot more ground to cover, and the supply out here is not as abundant as it is some places back east, so... Uh, yeah, definitely take skilled cartographers. Okay, you don't have it, so go with flying home. And I think embedded reporters and, yeah, speed things. If there were things that made this much cheaper, that would be worth it as well. All right, let's focus on this first. Okay, you got to come out of scouting because I think you're going to get there too early. I don't know if they're actually double, double quicking. Okay, take you out of scouting, move you up. Take you out of scouting and move you up. Again, if we're riding the rails, it should significantly reduce the amount of readiness we're burning through to do this. Yikes. You can see that the snow and everything has really slowed Johnson's movement, but he's kept his readiness. To his credit, I don't know what's going on with Scurry over there. Look, Longstreet, you're going to get there too soon. Who knows, maybe the fight in Nashville will happen first. Crawford. Crawford, why don't you move up here? Beauregard, join him. Johnston, I'm not too sure what to do with you, man. You're something of a liability. Off on your own. So we got to get a new policy. We're done with diplomacy too. Let's just go with letters of mark and try to keep whatever we can get flowing, flowing. My goodness, scary man. Aren't you supposed to be forced marching now? Yes, you are. Let's no Get over here. Because otherwise Longstreet's going to run out of supply as he currently is doing. Ugh. Who else does Johnston have with him? Is Smith part of Johnston's... I think he is. Yeah, he is. So if I just move Johnston... I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to move Johnston over here. Move Long Street this way, and hopefully Smith gets pulled into the fight because of Johnston. I really do think that's, like, the only move at this point. Scurry's just way too slow. Alright, what happened, Westcott? know what Critton ends up to. Alright, 
no pressure really over in the west. What is this? 10,000. Jeez, it's not even that good. It's, uh, all right, so 11, so it's 12,000 against 9,000. All right, we got to take that fight. Even though, I I don't know who was 16 hours away. I have a feeling it was probably Smith. But as long as the victory points aren't totally against us, we should be able to hang around until Smith shows up and then get out of here. But yeah, if Sherman's actually commanding them, they might be they might be aggressive. But we got Johnson, he's not not gonna be terrible. Alright, so it may not look like much, and it and it really isn't, but it has been almost a day and a half, and we've just been marching across well, some of us have been marching across West Virginia here. And it looks like we're probably going to have to go to day three before we actually get across and uh, figure everything out. But it's just been a very slow go. Uh, Longstreet's been ready to fight for a while. I think we finally found them. They're in a strong position. I didn't like the idea of having to have to attack out through this, but I don't really see much of an alternative. Uh, I know what it's like to defend when they attack this way, and that's just its own world of problems so that seemed to be a no okay we'll move walker up here floyd can come up here ruggles can go over there yeah and yule's gonna go over there and that's probably gonna do it for them rosters moving up as best he can Uh, but yeah, it just, it takes forever moving through here, and I don't know why some units are kind of randomly getting lost, but they are. So they've had a while now, almost a day and a half, to just sit on 16 victory points. When the numbers are relatively close, that's certainly good enough for, uh, a bit of a lead. Here, we're going to creep Yule over here. I, I knew I saw Cav. I don't know what else I saw here, so we'll try to figure that out. Move Ruggles, right? Ruggles up. All right, so with all that going on, we don't need... Okay, we never needed that. We don't need that. Yeah, it stinks a little bit that I don't have infantry yet that's close enough for this to matter, but we'll, we will get there. Rosser's battery, we can move up right here to the edge of the woods, and that should be fine. But it's mostly just trying to push through the stream. We're about to go to end of the day, too. I hope, and I think think Johnston's close enough to be able to bubble deploy forward. One of the reasons why we've been waiting is because he was not. Before I tried to send him back and the day ended much faster than I thought. They came in from over here, not from up here and we missed the, the bubble deploy by a fair amount. And so yeah, it's just been the whole day trying to slog through parts of frozen West Virginia here. All right, Anderson's up here. I'm not too sure what Anderson's going to do. Maybe eventually hug the left. Who's getting bombed? All right, it's Roster's battery. Uh, no, nah, we're not gonna do that. Wherever they're going, that looks like it'll it'll be fine. All right, and I think we've probably got a close enough that we can just go forward to the, I think it's gonna go to the overnight here and hopefully be able to deploy, bubble deploy forward Smith's division. And then on day three, finally be able to get on with this attack. It's very dangerous when you do it too quickly. Uh-oh, did I hit play before I meant to? Yep, it looks like I did. So now that may not happen. I'm 
Not sure what I did. All right, so somehow by just fast forwarding to like the 24 hour mark, we uh, we actually got to go through the the redeploy. So that that happened. Uh, we'll send the cab up here. We'll send Anderson's cab again. We generally with cab one avoid getting trapped in the fences. But if we can find them, or when we find them. We'll move out. The, the idea was pretty much to have Longstreet go. Oh, so they've gone back behind the point. Um, it's a neat idea. It is. I don't know if it's the best one. What's the terrain like? Yeah, it just. All right, that tells me enough. Longstreet. You can go there. Wow, and they have a group over there? I think we're just gonna try to use these uh, breastworks to our advantage. Roll the artillery up. Uh, we'll get Anderson continuing to scout. Anybody got any whiskey? Okay. Yeah, they are just breastworks. It's kind of corner camped, but the AI doesn't know any better. What? What's this now? Smith, what 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 are you what are you doing, man? I mean, there's leading from the front and then there's that. Good advice. Jeez, that first Kentucky battery has magnets in it. Brigade, I guess you can get up there. Man, if they just built that breastwork here and connected it with the fence, this would be, I think, dicier. Let me see if we left anyone behind here. No. Apparently not. Uh oh, Douglas. Got sniped. Oops. Well, if you were going deaf. 
I'm sorry. It's one of the hazards of this channel. Go, go, infantry. It's probably what... All right, so I guess McCann's battery might maybe got a little bit of a break. Second North Carolina, first North Carolina, first Kentucky, ninth Virginia battery. Yeah, these guys are in far better shape. This is a very depleted fourth North Carolina. I guess yet another state that that's probably why there's no volunteers because we, we haven't been able to replace the casualties that we've got. I doubt that's where you're supposed to be. Who are you with? Third Tennessee Walker's Brigade? I don't know what happened. It looks like I'm I might have detached him. Uh -huh. I don't know. All right. We will send you up first because we got to... We got to get someone there who kind of deal with this. Gladden's Brigade, all right. You kind of look like you know what you're doing. We will send you up here as well. All right, those two brigades have their marching orders. Third Illinois battery. I'm just trying to see what kind of casualties they've taken. Oh, so some of those batteries actually have gotten, uh, have had some work done on them. All right, if we have a ton of friendlies going in, eh, you know what? If the artillery still has its shots, we'll let them go. All right, Walker, we'll move you up. Ruggles, we gotta move you up. Okay, Smith's division. I don't... I don't know where that Union Brigade is that I thought I saw over here, but. All right. No, we wanted skirmishers to lead the way. That's why I put them out first. Oh, well. Then I guess we'll just recall them. All right, this might hurt for a little while, but I think eventually we should get the lead. All right, we routed whatever that battery is. I can't click on it at the moment, but uh, second Maryland, U.S. is about to run. Third Illinois, second Massachusetts are in better shape. Trickier. But yeah. Yeah, this this is a mistake. This was great on the first or second day whenever they did that. That was absolutely the right move. I still like the multiple victory points though. I 
it certainly gives me more to think about, but sometimes when it's there, there's this much, like you only have to have one point to control the battlefield, then it's kind of like, you know, the, the usual experience. All right, third Illinois batteries. I keep saying they're about to break, and maybe they actually will. EP Hills Brigade. Hmm, I still think there's a Union Brigade somewhere over there. All right. I suspect our own artillery is probably going to do us more harm than good. That was an awesome looking shot. <laughs> that looked really cool. All right. Uh, it did, man. All right, so we'll throw that up there. All right, we just got to close distance here. We can't. All right, even, even if we just throw skirmishers for, oh, I guess we can't. But skirmishers usually leave gaps in their lines, so it's a little bit less devastating when the artillery rips canister. Oh, poor Douglas. I thought we ordered them up over here. All right, that was Burnside's. It should be called the 7th Brigade. It should be the uh, Burnside's Artillery Brigade. All right, and with that, I guess we get this. Let's recall those skirmishers. We don't need them up yet. Not sure what that hollering is about. Get your skirmishers back. Any word from the picket line? Um, ba ba ba. So you're getting your skirmishers back. Anyways, I'm thinking about maybe bracing the fence, but I don't. I actually doubt I'm gonna do that. What is that echo? The way that that voice actor says I'm starving reminds me of that guy who's in a bunch of Adam Sandler movies. I don't know his name. It's, it's not... I don't know if Rob Schneider's in a bunch of them, but he's in some... It's, it's, not, it's not him. It's one of the... I think there's like two guys that are normally in Adam Sandler's movies that I don't know that I've seen any other movie. Anyways, to me, that's what that guy sounds like. Whoa, what is this? White's detect. Oh, they must have had an idea similar to mine. Though my idea is usually, how do I get my cavalry killed? Wait, give it a chance. All right, we're pushing up. Yeah, sure, we'll push up here. I think we already ordered the artillery up, so that's fine. Kirby Smith can get closer to his men. Uh, Long Street could probably do the same. Uh oh. Uh, sorry, Dan Ruggles. Okay, we'll push these guys up here. Nah, I don't think that's as necessary. That's where that other brigade is. It is over there. All right. Trying to get them in contact with the fence, but we'll see.
probably could use them over there. Uh. Whoa! Oh, they're mistakenly going backwards. All right. There we go. That might be, I don't know. What about the sixth Virginia? I think the first West Virginia is rethinking things, but Talaferro's brigade is doing, I guess it's Kirby Smith's old one. This is weird because I, I swear I went through here and I renamed all these. I swear. Yeah, that's not going to happen. All right. Well, have you faced that way? We'll throw Walker straight through here. We do not want to do that. And that's fine by Reynolds, yeah. Yeah, no one from Talaferra really got dinged too bad. And there are some understrength understrength regiments for sure there all right unfortunately the same can't be said about loring but they had a tough assignment but man the second ohio wrecked them holy moly frank huger's third tennessee is uh apparently has somewhere to be because they are not waiting for anything. All right, not going as well for the second Ohio now. We've repulsed whatever this was over here. And now we're going to take... Well, it should be Reynolds Brigade, not AP Hells, but oh well. Hard to believe the artillery has any good targets here. Yeah, that's rough, man. It's like, what, 40% casualties or something? All right, that's the end of the second Ohio. Ah, it still has us on minor feet. I guess they just accumulated so many objective points. Yeah. Yeah, they have 33 of them. <laughs> Ugh. What is this? This is Walker's Brigade. All right, Walker's Brigade. Do your thing.
I think she's a good looking game. Oh man, that's why we need that medium range. All right, let's see what they come up with. Well, they shouldn't have to come up with too much. I think I've done it all for them. But the AI does like its long range engagements, which I don't really care for. These guys actually firing? They look like they're going through the motions. Yeah, it looks like they are. At something. I don't know what. Are they close to breaking? Oh, yeah, they're okay. They they are. There we go.
a major victory. I don't know that they're actually going to call it that or count it as that, but it might say it in the battle, but it certainly didn't feel like it. All right, two to one. Oh, I guess they had fewer than I thought. Colonel Loring, yeah, I mean, I don't know if it was bad or if it was just whatever it was. The second Ohio had much better weapons and kind of came up on them. Not deserved. It They just got pounded, but somebody had to. And they were not well supported by the rest of the brigade either, so. Third Corps fleeing in panic. Well... Yeah, that's absolutely the win we needed here. Not sure about that, but a win is a win is a win. Okay, with you, we're going to stop you and put you back in scouting. So that Scurry can continue to build up his readiness. Uh, ba 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 ba. Are we still. One, two. Is something on top of something these guys are still here my goodness man what part of get on the railroad don't you get it's not even like they're being used okay i i heard the sound so we'll inch fry up we'll take them out of scouting Same here with Harper. Jackson's not in scouting, but whatever. Good golly, that railroad is slow. It's too early in the war for that. The Union is printing notes. Inflation. Well, we've, we've done that. Had to do that as well. Did they go into a... Uh, so they're in a crisis as well. So it's not just us. Yeah, they got about... Not quite a 3 to 2 or 50% relative manpower advantage, but they, they, they got something. All right. They're all up there. Lee is whatever. Okay, we will move you up. Take you out of scouting. Get you moving. Get you moving. Ah, oh, we don't have Smith here. Uh, well, I think Crawford's probably gonna run into Gibbon then. He looks like he is. Yeah, no, we're we're gonna deploy to defend. Because we can wait for Beauregard. What are all these things? Crawford's division preparing siege. Is the rest... Wait, wait, wait. Is the rest of the second corps... Have they already pulled out? So it says Crawford's division. All right. Beauregard is marching. No idea, actually. None. Uh, Johnston might want to come down here. To be safe. Uh, all right. Longstreet, you know what, dude? Take a break. You're here. At a certain point, who is Scurry a part of? Jackson, you know what? I'll take Crawford back after this, and that way at least Johnston's...
cores all together. All right. We have... Yeah, I would fight this. I would rather fight this than let the AI do it. My men are exposed to constant destructive muscular drive, both from the front and the flank. That's a long day. Battle's fun. Trees 22 inches in diameter were hewn to splinters and felled by musketry. Nathaniel Harris. Can't say I know him. Thought I knew a couple of people, but I have yet to come across the name, but not a not a historian of the Civil War, so I don't know. It could be a totally fictional person and made up crew, and I, I would still believe it and go around talking about it. All right. Ugh. Chancellorsville. The wilderness. Well, this is easy. It's basically a one pointer because. Right? There's only two, and. Uh, what is this? Crawford's Division. Alright, so I think we put Crawford's Division here. There's more roads this way. And then Beauregard's Division. Uh, I guess we put them there like that. Here, go away. There we go. There we go. Let's make it pretty. Get Get all this clutter out of here. All right, we're going to go like that, and uh, Beauregard. I guess the real question is, how do we want Crawford to proceed? I think like this. Probably on up through here. And so for Beauregard, do we just follow? I think so. So one of them will get there first. I don't really care who. Sure, something like that. Because uh, otherwise, we like we got to go down here, stay on the road, come back over here, reform in the woods. Like we might as well just have reserves upon reserves. I, I would think about maybe going to the Mineral Spring Road, but in the end, it still gets bottlenecked up here, and then you have to either cross over the road or you got to get stuck in those streams. If you're familiar with the train, like it's it's up and down, right? It's yeah. So try to avoid that. This infantry is just like who needs roads? Alrighty. All right, so this might be Crawford getting there first. Uh, Crawford. So let's detach Coleman because we don't we don't need him doing some things, and we'll key. Uh, you know what? Let's detach Macintosh as well. And while Beauregard's getting his troops there, Pelham. Detached, detached, and uh, yeah, it's fine. All right, start. Let's go see what you can find. Macintosh, don't let him have all the fun. Okay. Supply stuff, that's fine. Um. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I guess I now know where they are. And they're in a they're in a good position. There's no doubt about that. All right, Beauregard. Yeah, try to do maybe something like this.
and the the trick I guess is going to be to try to scrape the edge of that. I have no idea the Rappahannock seems narrow to be the Rappahannock, but I I believe the map makers here. Uh, ba 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 ba. Well, the infantry will move through you, so you got that. Stuart, why don't you get out here and why don't you take Macintosh with you? All right, so it looks like they got some folks who are unprotected out there. Crawford, it says you're stable. I'm not sure I believe that, but... All right, we will push you up just like that, and uh, I'm a little concerned about this one. I see the... Unit started broken. I have no idea why they would have started this battle broken. Could not tell you. All right, Beauregard's going to move up like that. Crawford can go like that. Bring our cab around to Mott's run, at least over here. We'll say go. I would push the skirmishers out in front, which is what I want to do, but then it seems like when we move the units up, the regiments, brigades, and so forth, it doesn't seem like the skirmishers always stick ahead of them. All right, we have you there. Here, let's bring you over here. Man, it is a tale of like two divisions. Everybody under Beauregard is great. Yeah, Fighting Spirit's good. Oh, it was their first battle, which is rough. I mean, as long as the overall change per hour remains in the plus, they'll be fine. But that means if things start to get a little bit rough, and it goes negative even for a bit, a bunch of these regiments are going to break. So, yikes. Uh, let's just move Pelham's battery up. Here, we'll move that up here. Coleman, we'll do the same with yours. I mean, that's really close range. Why is everybody moving so slow here? This is odd to me. Why are you doing that? Must be something with the speed of the units or s something that I'm not used to in these regimental battles. I'm not sure what it is. I mean, 20x for what we're doing seems like holy moly.
Yeah, I'm not sure that this is gonna work. I'm not sure that we're uh, gonna have the morale to punch through. So my not great, great idea is going to be to just move up like this. What are y'all doing? Move up. You can't hide. It's not going to, not going to work. The thought over here is to try to tie down this whole brigade with two cav units. Goodness, we are exhausted apparently. Oh boy. Eh, we might be able to get some work done over here. 
Ah, uh, very smart. Skirmishers just waste my bullets, so. With Cav, those bullets are precious. That's rough. Oh boy. Things are slowly ticking in our direction. Cut off from Commander? Probably. Like we just dropped an HQ. What kind of condition are some of these in? Good enough? Gotta try to hit these guys while they're moving. Yeah, that's rough. Thought we had some units that rallied back here, but... Uh, high fatigue. Alright. Alright, they're coming back, though. 
Whoa. But I guess we just gotta nurse some of them along here. All right, it's pulling more in our favor. I'm I'm really surprised. I'll see what the final numbers were. Maybe we did have a lot more than I thought. Yeah, we did. Probably with those numbers, even though they got a pretty friendly place to uh, to defend, kind of over in this corner and yada yada yada. With those numbers, I think it would just be hard to do. is that all right wind coop is falling back trying to get out of the way man i wish i guys would stay at close range or medium range It's probably a mistake. I feel like sometimes when you fall back under fire, it, it just snowballs your problems. But we'll try to keep the cavalry maybe near the men and the men near the cavalry and they can support each other that way. All right, Weisiger's 17th Georgia, McCullough's 1st South Carolina, 1st Louisiana. Man, these pieces must be heavy. Okay, they seem... Yeah, I guess all right. They should stay where they are. They're already tired. They are... They're okay. They're only winded. We can push them up. Tiring can't move up that much further, but we can move them up a little bit. Broken. You shouldn't be broken. What is that? Those skirmishers? Munford or AKA Sam Elliott. All right, Baldwin, you may not like it, but we need everyone we can get. I don't know, this is quite the pocket back here. Yeah, and we haven't really kept making progress against them, so. Not sure what we're gonna get. Winded? Winded can move. Tired can stay. Tiring can move.
Man, I don't know how they got it exhausted. I'm just going to let them rest. And hopefully that fixes most of it. Let's see where they are and what we can do about it. All right, if they're all going to push up, I think we're going to push a couple regiments up here and try to cap this road here. How are these? Ugh. It ain't going well. We'll just have to move them up little by little, I guess. All right, they rallied. Give them a few moments here. Man, this battle and the one in West Virginia, they're, it just feels slow. I don't know if it's a weather thing or a battlefield or the combination of them. I think a bad solution to that is just All right, I don't think I don't think that cab has rallied. John Bowen. Anyways. Uh, I guess I guess there are similar problems there. Yeah, I kinda felt like this. Probably Brigade here is probably the strongest, but it also might be the last. All right, we'll take some pot shots at that battery. It looks like we're close enough to cap, so that's good enough for me. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Oh, they're confident. Oh, good for them. Send them up the road here. All right. Looks like we still have to just grind these guys out of here. Looks like their artillery will stay and shoot, but their infantry seems to be heading out. I see some messengers scrambling over there. They've reformed down here. I 
All right, they're well rested. That's good for them. They're gonna move there. That's fine. Uh, these batteries actually look like they're in okay condition. So we'll move them up. You know, bring you down here. Might just send that cav over to uh, capture the other three pointers so they can't. Well, should speed this thing up. I don't know that I need them for the morale or not. Doesn't seem like the AI wants to attack, even though it has to. Yeah, it's just Ricketts' battery. They. I think they're the ones that have just been firing the entire time and don't really seem too worried about anything. Is that cab moving? It is. All right. Send it over there. Yeah, we don't have to send them both. Man, we just can't do any damage to Ricketts. All right, we'll bring Pelham up there. Coleman can do that. There is a group in there, I knew it. All right, what we're gonna do to try to end this thing is just push these guys off. I think they're more beat up. So I think if we knock them out, it, it, it sh wow, it's actually come closer. But yeah, the hope would be if we can knock them out, it'll swing the balance in our favor and just get us out of this battle. What on earth is that? I had no idea that happened. Maybe they ran from elsewhere, I'm not sure. And they're just gonna, <laughs> they're just gonna fall back. All right, well, 
It works until it doesn't. Gracie we can send up. McCown, I guess we'll send up. Johnston should be up. These guys do not want to move. They have found a good thing, I guess, and they're just clinging to it. Well, this is weird. I mean, it's the right move, but... I'm assuming that cab of ours routed. Wow, not yet. Those guys just aren't moving. really does feel like the numbers are much closer than they report.
Wow, Israel Richardson got wounded. And just like that, they were gone. Jeez, there's a song that won't end, and now there's a battle of it. I wonder if they're trying to f kind of fall back over here and try to throw these guys up there to get wedged between them. It's a cute idea, but a little too cute. Alright, they might have gotten away. I don't know. Our, our sight lines are limited here. Maybe that'll get rid of Ricketts' battery. That'd be nice. Still. Oh, of course. Sent the cavalry up. Did Ricketts really shoot all of those batteries off? I think he did. I think he just shot at least two batteries off. It uh is it is incredible. It is incredible. Okay, we gotta try to knock them out, we gotta try to knock them out. Hopefully we're about there. Looks like we're very close, finally. I think that's just raw casualties. All right, let's go mess with that cav. There we go, all right, so we got 50 ticks of the talk left. Why does it, looks like that one gun, I think it's just been abandoned though. Oh, no, it swivels. All right, so they're running. All right, finally, that one is over. Took way too long for such a small prize, but. It really is, because I think it's just Gibbon's abandoned division or cut off division. to 
just had to be that. Wow, Bowen never routed. I thought for sure he would. Alas, he did not. All right, what did it turn out to be? So enemy, five success, so 700, basically 800 out of the war for them. And for us, well, three or 400. So that, that was okay. I don't think those flags actually changed over. Uh, maybe. Maybe they did. But yeah, that should be given. All right, so he's going to find a way out. <laughs> a perfect way out. That's fine. So let's send Johnston up to grab Manassas and... Uh, Maybe we'll send Smith up as well, and then they'll let that be that. I think it's time for Crawford. See, he's going to be operating out here. You know what? He might need to use that uh, that fast movement. So we're going to move him over here to Salem. Right, you're supposed to get there, you're supposed to get there. All right, that's fine. Smith is that. Scurry will eventually... What? We have no, no other flags? Okay, we do have other flags. I guess just didn't go the other way. Anyways, uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it looks good. All right, and that is more than an episode. It's closer to two. Uh, so, all right, that'll be it. I That might actually also be it for our time as the CSA. What is this? Are you going to try to move? Oh, no, that's a retreat. All right, so I guess they're just able to retreat through. All right, that's fine. Uh, yeah. In terms of scurrying Crawford, that's others. I guess... And do we need one more episode to deal with this? We might have actually created something challenging enough that when we switch over to the switch back to the Union, we'll have to try to fight against it. And uh, yeah, 92 to 84 is it's pretty good. The number of men fielded is just way down. And I think that's probably due to the credit rating and maybe a few other things. So, all right, that's uh, episode six.